Welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm Kelly Stewart. This is the two minute rundown. We're headed to the NFC West. The Seattle Seahawks, joined by Ralph Michaels at Cal Sports LV on Twitter. Make sure you guys are giving him a follow. All right, here's the Seattle team, Ralph. Over the last couple of years, we've kind of seen a roller coaster ride. We haven't. They, they've played up to the level of competition. They've really surprised us in some spots, and they've had some really flat spots. How are they looking for 2019? These next two teams we're going to talk about. Seattle, I have three arrows down. San Francisco, the next video, I have three arrows up. Uh, I just don't see the Seattle team coming anywhere near the success they had. They were even in yards per game, which makes them an 8-8 eight eight team. Yes, they won 10 games, and they played Dallas in the playoffs, but they were plus 15 turnovers. They were number one in the NFL. That won't happen again. They lose multiple starters on defense. They lose four players that were major, major participants and starters on the defense, and they only bring in one free agent on the defensive side of the ball. I don't think they can recover from that. You have six new assistants, including a new OC in D.C. I don't think you can recover from that. And then for one of the biggest losses is the retirement of Baldwin. You talked yeah. about go-to receivers in another video. I mean, Russell Wilson could go to ball after Russell Wilson scrambles. I mean, I would say over 50% of his passes go to Baldwin because Baldwin ha is just in sync with him And, when and he I scrambles. do think Tyler Lockett is going to fill that number one receiver spot really nicely. But you're right, as of now, losing your security blanket that is Doug Baldwin is a concern for me for the Seahawks. Being a good receiver is one thing. Being a great receiver when your quarterback scrambles is something that very few receivers are very good at, and I think that's where they have an issue. I like Seattle not to make the playoffs. That's minus 180. I think there's value, and I like them under the eight and a half wins. All right, give me some TNA. Well, we'll see if this continues, but you have the uh, one of the best home field edges. It's quite simply, Seattle 12-1-1 one one as a home dog. All right, guys, make sure you like and share our videos. Want to share some of your thoughts on a game, give us some feedback or suggest a video. Leave us a comment below and be eligible to win a free week of service.